Power outages, they can be a major nuisance and a big problem, especially when they last for days. While the weather is fine right now, DTE though is already preparing for the worst of winter storms. Our consumer investigator Hank Winchester went on a ride along with Cruz and Hank. DTE has been out for a while trying to get ahead of future power outages. They certainly have, Kimberly, and I think that's good news because we remember what happened over the summer. We had a storm and DTE before that storm made its way to the area said we are good. We are ready for this one and then thousands of people were without power. So the question tonight, what is being done to make sure this does not happen during those cold winter months? Take a look. Remember that extreme heat back in July? It ends up being one of the worst outages yes. we've had. So well, something's not working. Power was out for days. People were frustrated. When we talked to DTE, they told us they were making changes for the future. Now we are um, investing more heavily so that things like this do not continue to happen. So this week, DTE invited our crews out on the road as they make major changes to the infrastructure, installing new poles and crossbars and fixing equipment that's damaged or just plain out of date. As we're doing that work, we're putting in our new specifications. So we've got larger poles, we've got fiberglass cross arms, much more reliable and durable so that should something happen in the future, uh, less likelihood of an outage in the first place. Right now they're making improvements to 7,000 square miles in the city of Detroit alone. DTE tells us this work will make the infrastructure more durable. By replacing uh, different pieces of the infrastructure, it makes it a lot easier for us to diagnose uh, when there is a problem, what the problem is. Uh, and the way we have it constructed, then it's faster to repair it should something happen. We finished this morning as crews trim trees, a key piece of the puzzle that causes major power problems when high winds whip into the area. We've seen a 70% reduction in reliability concerns uh, on those areas where we have completed, uh, uh, have completed that tree trim work. Lastly, DTE is upgrading their substations, making sure that equipment is in working order. Also, you spend less time left in the dark. Uh, back out here live in front of DTE corporate headquarters, another move the company making is putting, installing rather smart devices all over the area. Those devices will help give crews a better idea of what's happening in that area if there is in fact an outage. We're live here in downtown Detroit. Hank Winchester, back to you. Yeah, and Hank, you mentioned tree trimming is a big part of power restoration. How do customers let DTE know if they want their trees trimmed? Yeah, and, and really they just have to connect with DTE. The number you can call is 800-477-4747. Now, just because you have a tree in your yard and you want it trimmed doesn't mean that it necessarily meets all the guidelines. Mm -hmm. And remember, they are working to trim thousands of trees across the city. But if you want to get ahead of any winter problems, it's a good idea to give them a call before there is an issue. Yeah. Back to you. Because winter is coming. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm.